Today marks the start of Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. It's a centuries-old tradition remembering and honoring loved ones who have passed away. In Mexico City, celebrations are already underway, and here in San Diego, county leaders are observing the holiday. News 8's Kelly Hesedal joining us live outside the county administration building to show us how victims of COVID-19 are being honored. Kelly. Yeah, good morning. Uh, the display went up this morning here outside the county administration building. If you take a look behind me, uh, all of these photos are of people who lost their lives to COVID-19. Last year, uh, just to give you an idea, there were 900 candles put on display for those who died from the virus. This year, there are 4,200. One case, um, a woman whose, whose mother died, you know, she had to watch from outside uh, of the room, not being able to, you know, hold her mother's hand. And so it's, it's incredibly sad and, and this is a way to, to honor her. And that was Paola Martinez Montez. Uh, she's the director of community engagement for Chair Fletcher. Now we are now getting close to the end of another year of the pandemic. And today marks the day to reflect on those who are no longer with us. Uh, to see on display the faces of those who died is pretty powerful. I mean, you think about all of the family members and friends that they left behind. Dia de los Muertos is a chance to celebrate their loved ones' lives and to honor their memory. Now the altar de los Muertos is traditionally decorated with bright yellow marigold flowers, photos, and other items of remembrance for Martinez Montez. This year's display touches her family. My husband's uh, grandmother is represented on the altar. She was in a nursing home and she got sick there. And so, you know, none of us really got a chance to, to be with her. And, you know, all we could really do was, you know, send her prayers and, and wishes. Now the altar is going to be up here for the next two days and the public is invited to come by and pay their respects and there will be a ceremony held here tomorrow night at 630.